This show contains scenes of violence, coarse language, and mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. I don't know how my friends are gonna do it. I'm pretty sure we're all dead already. Uh, I hope they are not. Good night. Don't let him kill Buddy, please. If you can do something, please. Don't let him kill Buddy. Alright, please. I can't make any promise. were at a dead end. With Quaid refusing to help, they didn't know where else to turn. The brain really didn't help their case either, but they needed the rest. Can't sleep, can Wait, you? Bill. No. Nah, me neither. I'm running all this through my head again and... Gosh, I just don't know how we're gonna pull it off. Don't worry. We'll find Sam. Just kinda worried though. <laughs> to be honest with you, that Quaid guy, that guy, really, our help? You said he could help us? <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> I think he's gonna get himself shot or killed. <sighs> just don't worry about Quaid. I thought they affected was a goddamn ambush. How loose in the head do you have to be to, to assume something like that? It's just who he is. It's... I don't know if something happened to him long ago, but it's been a year since I last saw him. <sighs> I just hope he's not too far gone. Yeah. Whoa. Hang on a sec. Your mind line is in quite cold out. Uh, yeah. I suppose, yeah, come inside, please. It's uh, pretty cold out there. Goodness, Hello. Two of you. <sighs> How's it doing, fella? Hi. I appreciate it. Shut this. Hello there. Hi. Good to see you there, man. Quite a nice place you guys got. Yeah, we're just uh, staying in the rain right now. It's uh, pretty bad out there. Yeah, yeah it's freezing. Uh, I suppose we should introduce ourselves. The one in red goes by Genji Willows, and the other is Jimmy Craft. They claim to have seen the light from a distance, said they needed the warmth due to the cold rain. We met over by the, the big white and red radio tower. Uh, people have a name for it, I forget what it was called. Ugh, that place. Wait a minute, um, you came from the, the big tower? Green yes, Mountain? Yeah. Yeah, that's it, that's what they called it, yeah. We went down to the summer camp and uh... Met some uh, strange people, but uh, that's when we started sharing stories. So yeah, we've been walking around together for a while. I think we have that's the same there. policy: uh, strength in numbers, right? Yeah, yeah. Anybody who's uh, not willing to, you know, shoot you and steal your stuff is a good man in my book. You don't have to worry about that in our end, as long as uh, we can trust you as well. Mutual respect, you know. Of course, of course. Yeah. It's not been a good day. I'll tell you that. I got held up this morning. Oh, Red and I haven't exactly had the most event the past week as well. It's, uh... It's been really rough, to say the least. Yeah, I can feel the rough. <laughs> I feel it. I've had a terrible past few months. Uh, my wife, she recently... She recently turned two months ago. Sadly, I didn't get to say my goodbye. It's awful. Before I could decide what to do with her, uh, I had her locked in a room. And these men, they showed up and just shot her. If anybody was going to put her down, it should have been me, you know. It's just tough. Who were those people called? You told me, but I forgot. Horses or something like that. They had blue armbands. I forget exactly well, what their well, name well, was. Well, well. You've had a run-in with the horsemen? I think that's what they were called, yeah. Why do you know? Yeah, we, we know them all right. Yeah. It's, uh, they're yeah. the reason for our grief. Did you lose somebody to them? Um, yeah. 
Yeah, we did. I'm sorry to hear that. Hey, uh, hey buddy, can I talk to you in private for a minute? D uh, yeah, of course, sure, why not? We'll just be in the next room for a moment, if uh, you don't mind. What do you think? I mean, do they seem trustworthy? <laughs> like, remember, the horsemen, they've got men everywhere. These could just be two insiders. You don't know. You're you think right. you can trust them? How, how can we trust them? We don't know, you're right. Why don't we give him the benefit of the doubt and let Morgan be the final judgment of that? He's usually got a good judge of character, you know? Yeah, you're right. They were desperate for the help. And with Jimmy's story about the horsemen, it just seemed like fate. We are... we had to discuss a few things for a minute. That's alright. I hope we're not intruding on anything, you know? No, no, it's, uh, honestly, it's quite apt timing, really. Um, hmm, I don't know, Rhett, how do you want to word this? Uh oh, I think somebody's at the door. Oh my goodness. Trader Jack, please get out of the ring, come in. Uh. Oh my goodness, we thought we'd lost you. Jack? Yeah, no, not quite. Hmm. I've had business to take care of. Listen, uh, I got news for you guys. News about I Sam? found Sam. Well, where is he? Yeah, where's he at? You know where, uh, Boss is? Boss, or uh, it's hard to speak without lips. Oh, do you mean the place just by the airfield? Just above it? Yeah. I think I know where he's talking about. I can't think yeah. of They, uh, you ain't got long. They're distracted right now, I think. They're only keeping one man. I can't say how long that's gonna last. Uh, I don't mean to interrupt or anything, but I'm very confused on what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, who's this sap <sighs> guy? This is what me and Buddy... So what we were discussing about in the other room, I think, um, I don't know, to be honest with you, I don't know if we can trust you, but we need your help. Uh, you need our help? Depends on what you're, I don't understand what you guys are saying. Uh, a friend of ours, his name's Sam, he's been captured by the horsemen and we're trying to find him. Horsemen that ended my wife, put her down? I believe so. We've been looking for him and it seems like we've found the location. We just need numbers. That's all we need. <sighs> So you're saying that you need to, uh, we're doing a rescue mission, is that what you're trying to say? But quite like yeah. that, yeah, we just, we need help and, you know, uh, look at this. Never was a man of God, but I guess he's on our side today because we've got a problem with the horsemen too. I tell you what, if you can put I, uh, the man that put down my wife, if you save him for me, I'll help you. With I'll me. work this out. I gotta keep moving. Good to see you again. Good. Heck, where, I, uh, where are you going? I have to make sure they stay distracted. Oh. You shouldn't go alone, and you, you just got here. Can you rest first? Oh, trust me. I got a very limited time to work on this. You guys just make sure Sam's okay. Hmm. I understand. I can't thank you enough for this information. I couldn't even ask how you got it, but thank you. Really, you have no idea how much this means. Just don't let them fall to those monsters, alright? Never. With the info Jack provided, all they needed was Genji and Jimmy to be on board. I'm gonna have to think about it. I'm not entirely sure. Me personally, I, if you're talking about a problem with the uh, horsemen, I, I don't have any. I haven't, uh, I've not encountered them before. It's just my friend here has told me about them, and they don't seem very nice. Not nice at all. Yeah. yeah. If Jimmy here is gonna go and uh, join a fight, then I might as well get part of it. I, I appreciate that. Glad you have my back. That's no problem, man. You know. Fuck it. Let's do it. As long as you are, sure. I don't want to lie to you. They've done unspeakable things to us. And yes, we want our friend back, but if it does come down to it, there will be blood. And that's not something I will ever say or take lightly. And I just don't want you going in here without knowing that. And, uh, I don't believe you've met the last part of our party. Morgan over there. It's good to see you again. Nice to have you in. So, how long have you guys been in here? Because, uh, you look pretty settled down. Uh, to be honest, we've actually only been here just under a day. We're just waiting until sunrise to move on out. You got enough supplies? Food? Water? Yeah? I think for the most part, Nothing between for all us... Ugh. You'll have to excuse Morgan. He means the absolute best. It's just he takes a little while to warm up, too. That's all. Please, let all right. me... I understand. Okay, uh, I'm sure there's some leftover drinks or something behind the bar, and there's beds in the next rooms over. We can all make ourselves comfy for the evening. 
Okay, well, if you guys need any medical attention, I think I might as well tell you all now. I'm a medic, so if you got cuts, bruises, breaks, let me know. And, uh, my friend Jimmy here was a radio presenter, so if you want a good yeah, bedtime sure. story, his voice will soothe you down. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like the rain is at least slow to be stopped. Look at all the... What on earth is he doing? Yeah. Hey, you right? Yeah. Hey, you alright? Well, Taking care of a few infected. Nice to meet you, Morgan. Uh, my name is Jimmy. Jimmy Grab. I don't count. That's comforting to hear. It is. You're both dead, boy. Well, better off without you. But I guess we can use you somewhat. Hey, we ain't tools, okay? I'll just make that clear. Let's keep it neutral, yeah? Please. Oh, oh, yeah, them. Day full of shit. How can I expect you to do anything right? Alright, listen, we're on the same side here, okay? Let's just stand it here. Please, yes. Morgan, it's alright. How can you say that, Bonnie? After what we've been through, the people, we don't know who the hell these people are. Who hey, the hell hey, are you? Hold on, just hold one second. Just put it down. Everything's fine. This is on me, okay? We let them in. We've heard their story, and they are fighting for a cause very similar to our own. Meanwhile, in Grishino, there seemed to be some kind of argument between Austin and Kelsey. You haven't thought the slightest bit about what you did to Buddy? Huh? fuck are you talking about? You know damn well what I'm talking about. What? What? Come on! You oh, once come said on. yourself, you once said yourself, when Fox got torture, that no man should ever torture a fucking kid. Ah, uh, here we go again, great. <laughs> Yeah, there's not look good. You gotta be kidding me. It was different circumstances. You can't compare the Different two things. circumstances? This fucking kid is working with that fucking hick. This How fucking can I had nothing to do with that. Were you not fucking talking to the stupid I was fucking talking to fucking cowboy over there. He said yes, that he that saved that fucking kid. Like, don't you fucking not interrupt me! Thought. Don't you interrupt not interrupt me! I was fucking talking. That fucking kid deserves everything that came to him. He was working with him. What if that kid came around and fucking shot you, huh? Well, you don't know who the fuck he is. He could have pulled out a gun and blew your fucking head off when we were in there, couldn't he? The way that okay? that kid acted, I don't even think he knew how to use a gun, Austin. What could so he have now, done? Nothing. Oh, last time I checked, we snuck into that compound looking like a cute little couple. Ha 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 ha. And then we fucking murdered a guy. Now, appearances don't seem to be everything, are they, Kelsey? You don't fucking know this kid. We've met him like twice, okay? We don't fucking know him. We don't know what he's done, okay? He could easily kill you or one of my guys, and I'm not about to risk that. So yes, I'm sorry. I was a little aggressive. My apologies. I taught the kid a fucking lesson. Get over it. It's not the first lesson we taught anyone. This is, how many times did you beat someone for me, huh? How many times did you yeah, take I've the knife never into your beat hand? A what the fuck does his age make any difference? It's so fucking stupid, Kelsey. You're being a fucking moron. You're not this dumb. Get it through your thick fucking skull. Come on, you're way better than this. What the fuck? Where is this fucking coming from? You're above all this bullshit. I'm better than this? You're better than this, Austin. <laughs> if you think I'm better than what I did to that stupid kid, you don't fucking know me, okay? That's what I do, okay? That's what I've always done, and if you don't like it, I'm fucking sorry. We'll deal with it. It's not like you have much of a choice here anyway. Come on, let's be realistic here. Where are you gonna go? What? We're gonna crawl back to Russia? What? Don't you fucking walk away from me. Where are you... <sighs> you fucking... Oh, Kelsey, is everything fun in there? Yep. Lover's quarrel, huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh... Oh boy, not this again. Hey, uh, it's a little bit heated in there, so I want to wash your tongue. Hey, uh, I saw Kelsey out there, uh, she looked a little upset. Everything alright? Uh, no, fucking, not really, kind of fucking 
Went over the line a bit, to be honest. What did you go over the line about? I mean, she seemed pretty upset, like, more than usual, I guess. This, this stupid fucking kid. Fucking blue kid. She's pissed that I hurt him, for some reason. I don't fucking know why. We do that to all of our enemies, but now suddenly, because the kid's a little fucking young, it's a giant problem. And I, I, I yelled at her a lot. <sighs> I stepped over the line. <sighs> I mean... We're all human, and I can see how that could hit home, but she has to realize that it's either us or them. I went too far with her, then. The kid, I don't regret that one fucking bit. Fuck that kid. Fuck that kid. He deserved everything he got working with that stupid hick. But I stepped out of line with her, and I, I really, really should go fucking apologize, but... I don't know. I mean, you do what you feel like you gotta do, man. Uh... We don't want us to get uh, upset around here. We want us to try to stay good with each other because if we start falling apart from the inside, then before we know it, we'll all be dead. Time most of these things fucking end. It was internal shit. So yeah, I guess I should go fucking kiss some ass and apologize. We're Where'd she run off to, do you know? Uh, she was heading down the street. I didn't bother to stop her, so hopefully she didn't drift off too far. Is everything all right? Everything's not all right. Why do you just let these people around? We don't even know. They explain themselves. As far as I'm concerned, they're on the same side as us. We can trust them, please. Why do we need their help? The attitude that you've got right now, I wouldn't trust you helping me for anything. Then you got the right <sighs> mind about you. Listen, are we, are we just gonna bicker at each other all day? Or we're we gonna start planning something out, you know what I mean? I think that's exactly what we need to do right now. Okay, Morgan? Okay. Uh. So, uh, these, uh, horsemen, they've, uh, they've got your friend. That's what your goal is, to get your friend back. And your goal, Jimmy, is to find the person that killed your wife. And, uh, where did you say your friend was again? Oh, from our friend Jack, he, uh, let us know that we have to go northwest over to that small compound by the airfield. Bashni, yeah. I've been there before. Perfect, then, uh, yeah. you can help us guide the way, then. The final idea is that it's gonna get to a gunfight, it's not exactly the best place. It's just four walls, one building, two sheds, and a shit ton of trees. <laughs> Alright, I'll leave him to it. He's just very reserved, he's... Morgan is a very good man. He means the absolute best at heart. He just takes a while to warm up to people, that's all. Just please don't take any offense to anything he says. He's really a good person and he will see through all this. Won't you, Morgan? Don't worry, we don't take any offense. I get it. It is a bit You're awkward like when talking you get around to a people. wall. Oh, boy. If you got something to say, you can say it. Alright. I don't think we're to cause trouble, Jimmy, okay? No, nope, that's right. You try and talk to the man, he just stares at you. Ryan. Ryan. If you two are gonna throw away your chance of uh, solving this problem up north, then go ahead and keep arguing. I'm sure me and Buddy here can sort something out. Strength in numbers, remember that. Both of you. We need each other, like it or not. We're all here for the same common purpose, and we're gonna accomplish that. Now, whatever rage you have built up, I understand you have every right to be angry. You about your wife, Morgan about the things they've done, Sam, but hold it, and when the time comes, you let it out, but that time's not now, so please, just, just work it out for now, please. Fine, I can do that. Good. Thank you, Morgan. Where the fuck? I'm not even glad you're awake. Only if I overused it, you'd die. Who the fuck are you? <sighs> you really don't remember me, do you? <laughs> yes, 
everybody. I meet a lot of people these days. Let me refresh your memory. Remember now? <sighs> you don't want to do this. But you just don't do why, it. Why do I not want to do this? Please, inform me. I'm going to remember you. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. You like the taste of the blood, pal? You're gonna be tasting a lot of it. Oh, fuck, fuck, I'm so sorry. Oh, man. Oh, that turned out ugly, didn't it? A little, if it's all the same. I'm going to go ahead and put this back on. I know you, uh... Yeah. You probably enjoy the sight. Right. So, uh, what's the video here? Well, that would be complicated. We'll just call it revenge for the sake of cleanliness. Right. I did warn you, didn't I? You didn't want to do that. Uh, yeah, I guess. I mean, it was, it was pretty fun, to be honest, but... <laughs> That's okay. Nothing you say is going to change anything. If it makes you feel any better, it's not entirely about you anymore. Is it not? Not entirely. So tell me, what were you before all of this? It's like you care. Curiosity. Right. I mean... Grew up in a shit home with an older brother. Traveled quite a bit, but uh, you know, it will go into school, shit like that. Like I said, nothing too special. I'm sure you'll be talking whether I like it or not soon enough. At least for as long as you can. <laughs> right. I know how this goes, don't worry. You'd be surprised how much I spent on this. How many supplies it took to prepare. Studying. All of you. I've seen everything you've done uh, since you left me. Sometime sooner or later, it'd have to bite me in the ass. We all make our choices. Eventually, you end up becoming a monster. I think I've become one myself these days. So tell me, do you really understand the point of torture? Punishing those in the wrong, getting information, that sort of thing. You don't understand anything about torture then, do you? <laughs> People who've been tortured don't give you the truth. They just give you whatever it takes to end the torture. No, the point of torture is to break the will, to take away everything the person had and leave them nothing behind. So, are you ready to begin? I mean, better now than never, right? To ensure she doesn't run, he slashes her right Achilles tendon. <laughs> this isn't easy for me either, you know. Then he slashed the left one. I wasn't even really going to go after you. <laughs> then why did you? <laughs> I've had my skin torn from my arm. <laughs> I've had my lips removed. I've had my legs so scarred up I could barely walk. And all through it, I've managed to maintain my humanity. <laughs> I'm sorry for you, but uh, I'm not letting any more bandits go. And I don't care what that means for me or what I have to become. My daughter and her husband are dead because of people like you. No, I've lost people too. Just because I may seem heartless doesn't mean I am. <laughs> Fuck. Do whatever it takes to get your mind off of it. I don't really need you to suffer the physical pain. That's <laughs> just the start. God, you're sicker than I am. I can't deny it. I'd like to think I've kept it under check all these years. I wasn't like Eddie. I didn't need... Kill. Not that you have any fucking clue who I'm talking about, but we all have our dark sides. <laughs> it's what we choose to do with them that matters. I guess you're not wrong. <laughs> I want you to understand something. When I get done, your little man there is going to have to make a decision. And you're going to get to know that you have no way to tell him anything that happened. <laughs> If he kills you, he has to live with that, as do you. I guess he doesn't really love you enough to try. And if he doesn't, you get to spend the rest of your life as a walking... <laughs> sorry. Almost walking corpse. You sick fuck. One should not have to repeat what was done to her that night. But by the time it was over, she'd lost all of what made her a woman. Most of what made her human. A body unable to properly move on her own. No longer able to interact. She was but a soul in a broken vessel. You are gone. Hey. Chucky! 
Get fucking off me! Get off this! Got me. Got you okay? Get fucking Austin now! Run! Oh god. Stay with me. Stay with me, Kelsey, please. I'm, uh, I'm sure she's fine, man. Ain't too much to worry about. Girls like to wander off and shit. Yeah, it's not the first time she's wandered off. I mean, I was a little over the line this time, but she probably honestly went to the fucking Tyler's grave. It's where she usually goes when she's upset. It's up north. What? Do you hear that? <laughs> Austin! What? 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 <sighs> Kelsey! Kelsey! We what? found her! What? Is she okay? Where? Where? Where is she? <coughs> I don't... Shot! I don't know! I'm the side of the fucking... Come on! Fucking God, let's go, Braxton. Yeah. Kelsey! Oh, no, 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 no. What the fuck? Matt, what the fuck happened? I don't, I don't fucking, I don't know, I just found her, how, walking. how did this happen, what kind of sick fuck, even I never went this far, can she hear me, can she communicate, I don't know, she hasn't said anything since I found her, I'll see my love, she can't recover from this, Kelsey, my love, I'm so sorry, I don't know what to do, Matt, I, Fucking try to help her! There's no way. Not like this. Look at look at her, Matt. Look at her! There's gotta be a fucking way! She's gone, Matt. There isn't anything we can do. She can't be gone. Kelsey. Not now. I love you, and I'm so sorry I caused this. But I'm not gonna let this lie as it is. I will find the fucker who did this. I'm so... <laughs> sorry. I'm gonna handle this, and I'll see you soon, okay? Matt, you might wanna, you might wanna, <laughs> yeah, you might wanna turn you around, know, Matt. You know, you know. Matt, Matt. I'm gonna fucking kill her, Matt, no! Matt, she's gone! No! Matt, Matt get him out of here, come Braxton, on. get him out of here. Come on. I'm sorry. It's gotta be, it's gonna be something! She's suffering Stop. as she's sitting there. She's suffering. I love you more than anything. Fuck. Turn, Turn away, him man. around. Face that way. Thank you for everything you've done. You didn't deserve this, so I'm sorry. Bye, my love. Who the fuck did this? Matt, tell me everything you fucking saw. Who did this? Oh, we were just Matt, we were fucking just wake walking. the fuck up! We were just walking and I saw her laying there. I don't know, that's all I saw. Hey, Austin. What? 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 Under her. Oh. I don't want to say anything before I uh, get to my business. Are you watching this? This is going to be great. You know, you won't be saying much after this. This isn't going to end how you think it will. <laughs> Motherfucker. I know exactly who the fuck this was. Get everyone. We are going to fucking end them.